If you're super overwhelmed with having to pin to Pinterest every single day to grow your audience, you are going to love Tailwind and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in this video. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra. I'm a graphic designer and an advocate of selling digital products online. If you're trying to get into the digital product space to ultimately create passive income for yourself, definitely consider subscribing to my channel for new videos every Tuesday. If you're not new here, hello, welcome back, and thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So why am I talking about Tailwind for Pinterest today? Well, first, if you missed my last two videos on using Pinterest for your business, I highly recommend you check them out right after this video. I'll link them in the description box down below. Pinterest has been my favorite platform for driving external traffic to my online shop. I now have reached over 1 million monthly viewers on my Pinterest account, which is crazy considering I only started the account five months ago. So now I want to help you get the same, actually even better results. I will say this, Tailwind has helped me so much in staying consistent with my pinning schedule and growing my audience. And it only requires a couple of hours of my time every two to three weeks. And that's another huge benefit. With Tailwind, you don't have to sit on Pinterest every day just trying to pin a bunch of pins to stay consistent. Instead, you're going to schedule your pins so you could just sit back for the next two, three, or even four weeks at a time and just let Tailwind do its thing. Let me know in the comments how excited you are to grow your business with Pinterest. And now let's go to my computer and start the Tailwind tutorial. So before I start, Tailwind is a paid subscription. It's $9.99 a month if you get the annual plan. In my opinion, it's totally worth it. I'll leave a link in the description box down below for you to start a 30-day free trial to see how you like it. Okay, you're going to go to tailwindapp.com and you're going to sign up with your Pinterest account. Since I'm already signed up, I'm just going to click on dashboard here at the top and it's going to bring me to my home page. So before we get started, I want you to download the Tailwind Chrome extension. So if you go over here, click on publisher and click on get the Chrome extension. I already have mine, you can see it up here. Now I'm gonna show you three ways that you can pin your own images. But before we do that, I want to show you how you can control how many pins you're scheduling per day. So over here, click on your schedule. And you're going to see right now, I have it set to 10 average time slots per day. You can change that, go to recreate schedule and feel free to increase it. You can pin less if you want to, but right now I'm just going to keep it to 10 times per day and go back to drafts. And I'm going to go over three different ways that you can pin your own images. So let's start with manually pinning. If you go to create new pin, upload photos, and I've created five new fresh pins for my new daily planners. I just want to note that the file names of all of these pins are actually keywords that I've researched already. I just believe that you should add keywords everywhere you possibly can in order to get ranked and found by your target audience. I've added them now to drafts to schedule. So you'll notice that I haven't scheduled them yet because I want to add them to my boards. I have to add a pin title, pin description, and the URL that I want it to link back to. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign these to specific boards. I'm gonna go with small business tips and productivity hacks. And now I'm just going to give them a pin title that I have already done keyword research for. Now, a quick pro tip, I've already put together descriptions that I'm just going to copy and paste into here. Make sure that when you compile all your keywords, come up with maybe three to five descriptions that you can use for the same product, just so that you're being ranked for different keywords and Pinterest won't flag you for spam if you're constantly using the same pins, descriptions. I just like to switch it up. So I'm a huge fan of Google Docs and Google Sheets. So you'll see this is how I lay out my keywords, descriptions, and what they're for. I have another one here for all my wall art. So all I have to do is just find a description that I want to use. I'll copy it and I'll paste it into here. Okay, now I just have to add the source URL to each pin. 
So I have my Etsy listing open here and I'm just going to take the listing URL and copy and paste it right here. Okay, so I could just go here and schedule all drafts, but I like to have all of my pins ready first and then I'll schedule them all at the same time. I also want to point this button out for now, add to tribes. I'm going to film a separate tutorial on Tailwind tribes. They're going to help you out a lot. So right now I'm just going to leave it and wait for next week when I get into it in more detail. Now the second way to schedule your pins is doing it directly from your Etsy shop or your blog and that's how I normally do it. So I'm going to go to the listing that I want to grab some images to pin. So with this one here, but first coffee prints and I'm going to click on my Chrome extension up here and all these images are going to pop up. That's part of the listing. So I'm going to click on a few that I want to pin. And you're going to see them populate down here so you can see which ones you've already selected. And now I already have five images of the same product that I'm going to be pinning to different boards. Click on go schedule. And just a quick note, if you are adding all these pins to the same board, which I wouldn't recommend because it's the same product, I like to switch it up with different boards. But if you selected a bunch of pins that you are pinning to the same board, you just have to go over here and select a board that you want to pin to and you're done. But for now, I'm just gonna go to save for later. So right now I have 10 drafts to schedule. The third way I'm going to do this is I'm going to repin five of my images from one board to a different one. So let's say I'm on my page right now, I'm gonna go to graphic design tips and I want to select five of these pins to pin to digital product ideas. So again, click on the Chrome extension up here. And let's say I want this one. Again, these are all my pins from the board graphic design tips. So again, I've clicked on go schedule. This time I do want to add all of these pins to the same board, digital product ideas, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I want to show you how these will also populate in my draft. So I'm gonna go to save for later and then go back to Tailwind, refresh. And now I've got my 15 drafts to schedule. So now I want to pin other people's pins to my boards that are not competitive, but they're complementary. So for example, because I sell wall art, I'm not going to be pinning other people's wall art to my boards. I'm going to be pinning home decor ideas. So I'm going to go to Pinterest and let's say I want to come up with bedroom decor ideas because that's one of my boards. And now I'm going to find between five to 10 pins that I want to pin. A side note, when you first start out on Pinterest, you're probably going to be pinning maybe 40 to 50% of your own pins and then the rest will be other people's pins. But as you get more comfortable with Pinterest and you have a lot of images to share, for example, I started off with 50% of my own pins, but now I've increased it to 75 to 80% of my pins and maybe 20% of other people's pins. Again, click on the Chrome extension. And I'm going to select a few that just fit with the aesthetic of my board. Okay, so I've selected five, go schedule. And again, I can pin this all to one board, which is bedroom decor, but I wanna show you how it shows up in drafts. So I'm gonna click on save for later. And I'm gonna go back to Tailwind and refresh. Now, because I've selected 10 pins to schedule per day, that only takes care of two days. What I would normally do, because I like to pin for two weeks ahead, I actually have about 140 drafts to schedule. So majority of that will be my own pins. And then again, maybe 50 to 20% will be other people's pins. The second way you're going to pin other people's pins is through tribes, which I'm going to show you next week. So now I'm going to go through all of these and select 
the boards that I want to pin these to. Also, make sure that if you're not scheduling all drafts yet, save changes. Okay, so again, normally I schedule two weeks ahead, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you schedule all the drafts and how they show up in the queue. So click on schedule all drafts. And these are my scheduled pins. It shows you the times that it's going to pin. What I don't like about the schedule right now is that a lot of my pins are showing up for tomorrow and not many are showing up for today. So I'm going to shuffle the queue. And now it's more evenly spaced out. What's great about Tailwind is that it schedules your pins based on your niche and your target audience and when they think your audience is going to be active on Pinterest. So it's more likely that they will see your pins. And you can just go ahead and start scheduling all your pins for the next two or three weeks to come. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's time to just sit back, let Tailwind and Pinterest do its thing, and you don't have to worry about it for the next couple of weeks. I've personally stuck to a routine where I spend maybe two hours on Tailwind every other Sunday so that all my pins are scheduled for the next two weeks. And if you've made it this far into the video, I have two gifts for you. The first is digital planners that you can use to stay consistent with your goals and the tasks that you need to complete. I'll link that in the description box down below. The second gift is a guide that lays out 20 digital product ideas that you can sell online. Since I absolutely love selling digital products and that's ultimately what my business is all about. As a reminder, if you have not watched my last two videos on how to use Pinterest for your business, I highly recommend you check those out next. Next week, I'm going to be teaching you all about Tailwind Tribes. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.